Welcome to Beyond Death where we examine near-death experiences from people who claim to have died and visited the other side before returning to life. Today's NDE is the experience of Douglas C. and what he says happened to him as doctors worked to save his life. Let's get straight into it. My wife and I were getting ready to go out for the day, and I started walking into the kitchen to get water to take my pill for hypertension, and also supplements that I take. On the way to the kitchen, I got dizzy, so I decided to lay down on the sofa. When my wife came out dressed and ready to go I tried to get up, but I became dizzier so I laid back down. My wife took my blood pressure and it was 60 over 40, and at this time is when I also began to have moments unconsciousness. She brought me some water and took my blood pressure again, and it was 105 over 75, but I kept feeling worse. My wife stated that she asked me several times if I wanted her to call the ambulance to which I did not respond. By this point, the loss of consciousness was becoming more frequent. I reached a point that I thought I was dying and told my wife, I feel like I'm leaving. At this point, she called the ambulance. From my recollection, it seemed that from the moment I started feeling bad to when she called the ambulance, it took about two hours and I could not understand why it was taking that long, but I couldn't really speak. In review of this part, it became clear that it only took 10 minutes. It took the ambulance 20 minutes to get to me and 20 minutes to get to the hospital, leaving only 10 minutes for all of the above. My episode started around noon and I was in the hospital by one. On the way to the hospital, I was in and out and remember seeing some cars, bushes, trees, but I could not control my body. My head was moving around with the movement of the ambulance. At this point I said to myself, so this is what death feels like, and said I'm ready to give up my spirit. As soon as I said that, I entered a dark space. There was no emotion, time, up or down, but I did have my intellect. Very quickly after entering this darkness, it developed a very dark brown hue. I don't know how but I exited this space, and when I did I saw that the space I had exited was a rectangle with rounded edges, and to the left of it was a tunnel made of white clouds spinning clockwise. At this moment I said to myself, this is just like in the movies. I started moving towards the tunnel, but I wasn't walking or flying, and I can't say I was floating, I could just move with a thought. As soon as I started moving towards the tunnel a black transparent circular mass appeared at the entrance to the tunnel, and it started to move towards me. The edges of the cloud became a more pronounced black and the tunnel a little darker. I could sense its power, and the size of it was huge. The only way I can equate it is seeing yourself in front of a high rise and it coming directly at you. I said to myself, what is this? And I leaned back to try to avoid it. This was the only time I felt fear. I was not scared of the presence, but because I thought to myself, what am I doing wrong that doesn't allow me to get into heaven? I quickly thought to go back into the dark space for safety, and I did. I didn't move, I just thought it, and it happened. While in the space I started doing the Lord's Prayer, but I could also have multiple thoughts running at the same time. It dawned on me that here I was dying and I had all these grudges I was holding against people who had wronged me, and also those I had hurt unintentionally, I had never tried to correct. At the same time I said to myself, I'm not staying in this darkness, and exited. I could see the dark rectangle to the left of the tunnel. That is the last I remember. After that, all I remember are flashes of people and my wife or others talking to me. My wife said that while I was going through the two-hour seizure, my body was catatonic, but that my head was swinging around wildly. She stated that I was asked if I was moving my head on purpose and I said no, and I do have a memory of this. From the onset of the episode to the time I regained consciousness was about ten and a half hours. After regaining consciousness, I thought I was possibly dreaming. After some time I thought, well maybe this is my hell being poked and prodded for the rest of my life. This was because I had never been a patient at a hospital save for same-day procedures or tests. I was born at home to a midwife. 
This train of thought continued all during the stay, but I would not mention it to anybody because I kept thinking to myself, if I say this they will definitely leave me in the hospital, because they will think I'm crazy. Even when they released me and I was sitting in the wheelchair and I could see my wife coming with the car, I kept looking to my right, which is where the hospital door was, expecting someone to come out and say no, you have to go back in, because of. I was released on Tuesday afternoon, and it wasn't until I was home at night and going to bed that I thought I'm back in the real world. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more near-death experiences from people who have visited the afterlife, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.